Just last week, a landmark ruling stated that social media did contribute to the death of teenager Molly Russell. Well, my next guest continues, thank goodness he does, to campaign for better mental health support and online safety. Having worked alongside the former Prime Minister and after being appointed the UK's mental health ambassador last year. Now Dr Alex George is sharing his own experiences in his new book. There he is with his brother, who, as we know, very tragically died. His new book is called A Better Day. It's basically, I guess, Alex, it's, it's a guide for, for young people, but also their parents, yeah. on how to deal with mental health problems um, and very, very much trying to help keep people safe. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I wrote A Better Day as the book that I wish I had at 10, 12 years old. It's aimed at 9 to 14-year-olds. And why is this book important for that age? Because we're learning more and more that if you get in early and you educate, you teach, you give tools right. to young people, then you can actually prevent a lot of the problems from happening. And if, if we imagine, we can all imagine Wembley Stadium, right? We've seen Wembley Stadium. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a massive stadium that's full of uh, people watching football or sport every weekend. Now, let's imagine Wembley Stadium full of children. Mm -hmm. Multiply that by six. That is the number of children that are currently waiting, waiting to be seen by mental health services. Jeez. That's frightening if you can just picture that for yeah. a moment. That's the situation we're in. We are in a situation where we have the highest rates of suicide amongst young people in over 30 years, and we have to do something about it. I'm we not do. saying that I can prevent everyone's problems with a better day, but what I am saying is that if we can arm children with the, and parents with mm -hmm. the tools and knowledge, especially things like social media, yeah. dealing with understanding identity, uh, knowing how to uh, uh, understand your own emotions, yes, we can prevent quite a bit, but also, if that day comes where they feel dark, where the darkness is around them, they'll know how to find the words to say, do you know what, I need help. Right, and to I be want able help. to ar articulate that. And nowhere that's, to go. That's what, that's what this does really beautifully. I mean, sadly, your family have been through this mm. with your brother, who mm. very tragically took his own life. We've seen Molly Russell. We've seen Molly Russell's dad yeah. do incredible things yes. as well. But it's just so tragic, Alex, that families and everybody has to go through this. And we don't want this to happen to anyone else. Hence... Yeah. The book, right? Well, I mean, I put two years into this book, everything that I have, but literally my heart and soul, all the knowledge that's out there into a book that I believe is absolutely essential. I want this in every house. And ultimately, and, and I, the book is uh, full of my own anecdotes, it's fun, it's, uh, you know, I have a laugh at myself yeah. about the book, but the serious point is, no one wants the phone call that I had no. saying, I, I'm really sorry, this person has died, and, and, and that gap that's left in your house. And, you know, we have responsibility as a society to do everything we can. I mean, you mentioned uh, Mr Russell and the work that he's been doing. I'm very, very sorry to hear of, of what happened with Molly. And, you know, I'd like to say that it's something that's new in terms of the pressures on, on young people and social media. It's not. We know um, it's a really challenging time for young people online. You know, mm. almost half of all young people experience bullying at the moment. A significant amount of that is online. I think I would say, and it's very important to say, <clears throat> you know, social media has grown so, so quickly, faster than any of us could really have imagined. And what we're doing right now with the online harms bill, it's something that's not been done before. So I think there's a level that we've got to catch up, I think, yeah. on, on what's happened. And, you know, I was talking on my socials the other, um, only yesterday. I, I post uh, on the first of every month for Post Your Pill. I talk about taking sertraline a medication for my own anxiety. And unfortunately, um, one of the platforms took it down, um, maybe perceiving it as harmful content, whereas, you know, I'm the mental health ambassador. Ha um, it was I'm a doctor. very positive. It's positive. I'm sharing my own health journey. And I think there's a difficulty in nuance online at the moment of right. understanding what is genuinely harmful, what mm -hmm. is helpful. And so, you know, I think what's really important I think social media's, media companies are listening. I think they're quite well aware of, of the issue. Yeah. But we need to have a really open dialogue about, as a whole community, how do, how do we deal with this problem? Part of it, I think, is arming children with the knowledge and the tools. How do you keep yourself safe online? How do yeah. you use it as a positive space? Getting parents involved as well, because a lot of oh. parents say to me, I, keep, I hate parents saying, I don't know what's going on online. I, I don't know what they're seeing. What is it that they're experiencing? How do I help my children? And then really it is about, as well, the social media companies going, do you know what? We've got a role to play here as well. We need to keep people totally. safe. Totally. It's, it's everyone. And the thing is, you obviously are an ambassador. I know you worked with the government. You worked with Boris Johnson. There's been a change. Mm -hmm. Will your role continue? Do you know that yet? Do you think that's going well, to Well, I'm happen? writing to the Prime Minister um, at the moment because I want to, to meet about the support hub, something I've talked about here before many times. And I had 
just had a meeting with the previous Prime Minister, uh, Boris Johnson, um, pitching the hubs and how important they were. I had a great response there. So I'm really hoping that uh, the new Prime Minister will, will agree because so. look what's going on at the moment. You know, we've got ri rising uh, energy costs. The thing I'm worried about as a mental health ambassador, uh, and this is, this is a very serious thing, the biggest indicator of a rise in suicide rates nationally is financial hardship. If you look over the years at times where things have been tough, that is when we see suicide yeah. rates rising. So now, and, and we know it's the highest over, over 30 years for young people, it's time to act now. These support hubs cost £200 million. We can have 190 across uh, England. that will look after half a million children. Think of those well Wembley stadiums. Mm. Support them through social media. Support them through education, through the, the hardships that they're experiencing. And I think it's, it is more important than ever. It's a kind of a no-brainer for me. Of course it is. Of it's course no it is. And, and it should be happening all over yeah. the country. You know, that the, the devolved regions should, should make sure yes. that happens. This book is brilliant, Alex. It, it really is um, a positive mental health handbook. And we've talked about it before. Mm. You know, the pandemic, um, we knew that there was, there was going to be mm. an awful lot of, of young people mm. who've got mental health problems. And you're doing your bit and more power to you. Uh, the book, A Better Day, is out right now. And if you and a loved one need support with mental health, lots and lots of help and advice on our website. And also follow Dr Alex as well on social media because um, what you're posting on there is Thank excellent. You. That means a lot. Thank you. It's much. really good to see you. Thank you. Do I have time to do a quick quote? Do I have yeah, go on seconds? then. I'd love to, for anyone at home that's going through hardship, it's something that um, saved me and my family actually going through difficult times. And it may mean something to you at home. Uh, life throws us into the deep end at times. However... With the help of family and friends, we overcome even the most seemingly insurmountable challenges. With the help of family and friends, we overcome even the most seemingly insurmountable challenges. That saved my life, so I hope it'll help others. Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.